Hi everyone, welcome to Dusty Shelf and hope I find you well. This is part two of the Fiat Bath build. So you may have seen part one, we put the chassis together. This is part two, we're going to look at the body and sort of finish in the model and then take it out for a little run. So got the Lexan body here. I think I did it, said in the unbo unboxing. A little bit of a shame about the uh, the lines here where the sort of collapsible core of the tool has uh, moved away from each other. Um, but uh, that's something we've got to live with. So. Uh, Wheel arches haven't been cut out. You do see that on some of the more recent Tamiya kits. On some of the more recent kits, they do make a nice job of these by uh, pre-doing those for you, but not done on this one. Should be fairly straightforward to cut out, so I'm going to use the same method that I normally use. Uh, first of all, I'm just going to open up the page to see where I've actually got to cut the body. Make sure I don't cut any bits off that I don't need. You see there's a schematic here that shows you the cut lines. And all I'm going to do is, as I've done before, is just score along the marked lines and then when they're done, cut up to them and just bend them gently until they break through. Seems to be a, a, a method that works for me. Obviously it does involve a very sharp knife, so extreme care needed. And obviously if you are a, you know, a younger modeler watching this, please check with your parents and that, that uh, you know, it's okay to do, do this sort of preparation of a body using a, using a very sharp knife, because uh, yeah, I don't want anybody cutting themselves. Anyway, with that said, let's, uh, let's get on with it. I'm gonna change my glasses. So I can actually see, and um, yeah, and I'll start scoring around the body.
Well, I have to say, that was one of the most difficult bodies I've ever cut out. Uh, should have been quite straightforward, and I made an awful mess of the wheel arches, so I'm going to spend a little bit of time now sanding back uh, and actually trying to clean it up. <laughs> so, yeah, didn't, didn't make a terribly good job of that one. Well, I'm almost there. I've basically cleaned up the uh, wheel arches, made them a little bit uh, smoother. I've just got a few little bits to do, um, and then we can get this marked up ready for, ready for spraying. I think that'll do it's not too bad it's a couple of little areas i'm not overly happy with but uh, in the big scheme of things i don't think it will show so next step is give this a wash with soapy water and then i can start getting it masked up all right hopefully i've uh, gone over that sufficiently with some soapy water get rid of any uh, tooling release agent uh, next job is to put the window masks on slide this out so these need to be cut and these just fit on the inside uh, to mask off the windows before painting so let's just get the cutting cutting pad over from behind me let's slide that underneath put stickers in there so they don't get damaged and let's get these cut out Okay, next step is to mask up ready for the white. I've got to touch in a couple of these stickers. They just need uh, a little bit of trimming back and then, um, yeah, we're pretty much ready to spray. So uh, on with the masking. Well, that's all masked up. I've got the uh, window mask in there and I've masked up the bits that I want to remain white. Um, so they're all ready to go. Don't look too bad. And you can see at the front there, the bumper's all masked. So next to add some colour on, I've got this paint, uh, bought this from a local model shop, I actually bought this from uh, Rochester RC at the weekend, first time I visited their shop and I did a little video while I was in there just uh, looking around at the cars in there, so I'll put that on the channel shortly, but um, yeah this is, uh, I don't know who makes this paint, I think it's uh, Kia, oh, you know, it's Schumacher Racing, so it's Schumacher Racing paint, this was £5.40, it's slightly the wrong colour, it's slightly too dark but I don't think it will show but uh, that's what I'm going to use on this body. So I'm going to take this outside and just dust it over. Um, I won't film that bit. I've tried to film spraying before, but when you're holding the camera in one hand and trying to spray with the other, it always goes wrong. So I'm just going to go and, go and give this a dust over and I'll come back when it's sprayed. 
Right, that's gone on rather nicely. Um, I can't actually see any leakages. There's a tiny little bit around one of the windows that I did see. Actually, it doesn't look too bad, to be fair. Yeah, not bad at all. Right, I'm going to take off the mask for the white paint. Um, and then it's time for a, a second, uh, second coat. So, I need to take off. Look at that edge. That's all gone rather well. Right, well that's all gone on pretty well. I'm quite pleased with that. So there's a couple of little edges I'm just going to clean up and make sure that that's all, not on the inside. Um, there's a little bit of blue, as you can see just there. I'm not sure whether that's on the inside or the outside, but I'm still just going to scrape it away and make sure there's nothing on there. Um, and then it's time to give this a dust over with the uh, with the white paint. Um, yeah. So uh, that should finish this off lovely. Okay, ready for the white paint, so I'm going to use a PS1. I've left the uh, window masks in for now. I'm just going to dust around these uh, edge bits and, uh, yeah, finish off the uh, body paint. Right, it's all uh, sprayed up. Doesn't look too bad. I don't can't see any runs on the uh, the blue side of things. Got a couple of splodges of paint made their way down onto the, the bench here, so I may leave this for a little bit longer to dry. Uh, want to touch this no it's dry okay so what I'm gonna do um, I think I'll remove the window masks now and uh, yeah smoke the windows but, uh, let me just check these are dry yeah they're fine Right, I'm going to go and do the uh, windows with this, which is the PS31, which is the smoke, and just uh, to tint the windows a little bit. Right, well, I sprayed on the uh, smoke onto the windows, and unfortunately, it's some sort of a reaction. So <laughs> I've cut my losses, and I've actually blacked out the windows using PS5, just, just sprayed them over black, so that's done. Now we get to the good bit, my favourite bit of doing the Tamiya kits, which is to peel off the, uh, the cellophane on the outside. I say it every time, it's so rewarding, so satisfying. Gets rid of all of the overspray and makes everything shiny. I say, gets rid of the overspray. Hopefully, it will get rid of the overspray. Just peel this off and look at that. Look at the difference. That'll do nicely. I've got a couple of little marks around the windows, but there is uh, um, window edging to add from the uh, decal strip stickers, so that should be okay. Looking good. Let's start fitting some of the uh, ancillaries onto the body here. Uh, I did just sort some screws out, where did they go?
okay. Okay, for the boot lid, I'm actually going to spray this um, in white. I don't have the uh, correct paint for that, so I think yeah, I'm going to do this in white. A little bit of artistic license here. And I'll do the struts in black. Which are these pieces. Right, that took me a few minutes to work that out, but uh, yeah, they're all in there now, so I'm just going to push them all home. So that's the exhaust assembly together. Let's just get them all pushed into the manifold properly. Okay, it's all good. Just uh, clean those bits up just a tiny bit. So, okay, just lift this back off. And then these slot onto there like that. And then that comes down and sits on there. Then we have a, whatever this is here, you know. sits on top and is held in by a couple of screws that go from underneath that over with um, some paint because the exhaust system is actually white on this um, and then when that's done um, paint the rest in by hand well off camera I've just uh, painted up the engine painted it silver just touched in a few little bits and I've taken the decals and I've actually cut round them all so Previously, uh, very recently, built the Sound Viper from Tamiya, and it was the first Tamiya kit that uh, all the uh, decals were already pre-cut. This one's not pre-cut, so I've had to go round them all with a scalpel. Um, and then uh, what we're going to do here is literally go through all of the transfers and put them on the body. Now I'm going to do that before I put the engine in, just so that I can see round everything and uh, yeah, try and get it uh, as accurate as I possibly can. But, uh, Let's start with the main sticker, I think, which is this one here.
Well, off camera, I've done a few little finishing touches. So, uh, finished all the stickers on here, or at least the ones I want to put on there. There's a couple of little ones that uh, were just uh, not looking very good and, uh, yeah, becoming a little bit frustrating. But uh, some of the uh, stickers around the windows and, like, these ones running through here, I might actually take these off and paint. Um, I'm not a really big fan of these little intricate stickers. They they never look particularly good on the, you know, Lexan body uh, car. Um, but anyway, uh, got to this point. So a couple more finishing touches. Um, you can see that I've put the um, chassis on here. Got the body posts in, cut them to height. Um, I do think these look awful. Um, I kind of regret drilling this. I should have put magnets on it, but uh, too late. I drilled it now. So that's like that. I've got the rear hatch to put on. I've got the engine to put in, and I've got the... Uh, uh, mirrors to go on so uh, let's crack on let's get the mirrors on um, and um, then the uh, the engine can drop in and that's pretty much this finished so let's just pull these body pins out again I think I might change these for slightly larger ones I might actually swap these small ones underneath the body I think that's probably where they're supposed to go anyway but uh, because I can't I can't lift them out of the, uh, the pins. Right, I'll just put the chassis to one side again and let's grab the sprue. So I've painted the uh, wing mirrors, just dusted them over in them, gloss black. Uh, we'll just take these two off of here. the engine in that looks uh, particularly good and uh, yeah final step now is just to uh, drop the uh, body back onto the chassis I'm just going to change these body pins over as like I said just to uh, tidy these up a little bit Well, there you go, all complete and ready to run. Let's go and take it out and uh, see what it looks like running up and down the road.
Well, as you saw, a bit of a handful to drive uh, with the short wheelbase uh, all over the place. Now, one of the things I'm not happy with is on the back here, the wheel arch is catching on the wheel, which is really annoying me. Um, you see the front wheels are central to the uh, wheel arch here. The back ones are just not in the right place, so I may have to trim this back a little bit further. Um, I have to say, not a big fan of putting these kind of detail stickers on a Lexan body. Um, it's come out kind of all right, but uh, even now you can see some of the little detailing is beginning to come off where I've run the car. So uh, yeah, not a big fan of those, but I do like the engine on the back here. You know, having the engine hanging out the back of the car is great. And it really, you know, I say it's a handful to drive, but it's good fun. It's been a good fun build and a good fun car to run. And I would recommend it. The chassis is quite good, quite uh, quite robust. And um, yeah, taking it around the car park, you do need to be careful for stones and things because it doesn't have a lot of ground clearance. It probably would be much better on a carpet sort of circuit or something like that. But yeah, quite good fun. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. And uh, as always, check out the channel. There's lots of videos on there and plenty of radio control uh, bits and pieces. And uh, yeah, if you can subscribe, you'd be doing me a really big favour. And with that, I'll leave this one there. And I'll just say thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you on the next one.